Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. This is episode 61. I think I'm like I've done a lot of recording today. Um, I've already recorded Carnage Week stuff today. I basically I had the day off. I slept in and then I woke up and I've just been sitting here recording all day. Uh, but I did want to do something as a, a thank you again to the 900 subscribers, and I wanted to do another uh, video where I'm reading comments and and replying back in a more elaborate way. Because I know sometimes I can uh, sometimes I'm very wordy in my response. Sometimes I'm not very wordy. Uh, and so uh, so this is me just trying to go through and I'm not going to do a ton of them I'm just going to go back a week. I'm getting a lot more comments thankful thankful um, that I'm getting more comments But I'm getting a lot more comments than I used to like before I'd have to go back three weeks to start the video Now I only have to really go back a couple days But I'm going to go back a week and just read a couple and I'm going to jump all over the place here So these will all be from different videos over the past uh, week that we've uploaded which I just realized I was like wow We've we've stuck to the one a day thing so as if you guys are enjoying them, I'll keep trying to pump out a video a day. The problem is, is that we're in that period now where there's not a lot of movie news. They just finished filming, and until and everything now is going to be official, and we already know Sony is trying to keep a really tight lid on this movie. But I think at some point we're going to see, they're, they're going to announce who Woody Harrelson's playing and uh, who Jenny Slate's playing. Although we talked about that like a month ago of um, Dora Skirth or whatever the character's name that we saw on like a, a, someone's Twitter page. Um, I think it was a Marvelous Realm and uh, Atlanta Filming. I think they kind of let her name out there, but um, we don't know. That hasn't been confirmed either, uh, so we're still waiting on that. But I'm sure once they announce those two, that'll be news we can cover. When they show us the first image of what Venom actually looks like, that'll be uh, something we'll cover. The trailer, I'm going to make another video. We're going to speculate on the trailer uh, in my next video in episode 62. So we'll do that over there. Um, but I have uh, some comments here I'm going to read. So first one from a week ago, Venom Gaming. Uh, he asked, or he said, Seek, there are rumors online that Sony and Marvel are casting Black Cat for Silver and Black and Spider-Man 2. So I saw some of these rumors, um, and uh, I, I don't know what I feel about them yet. Uh, they're saying that there's, they're casting for a femme fatale for the next Spider-Man movie. I mean, it could be Black Cat. I mean, it could be anything, really. Uh, a femme fatale could mean a couple of different things. Uh, Black Cat's not the only uh, Spider-Man villain that is female. Uh, but at the same time, she is probably one of the most popular, and it is a character that Sony has tried to do before uh, with the Amazing Spider-Man movies um, with Andrew Garfield. They had, um, what's her name from Rogue One, Felicity. Uh, she was going to play, um, uh, well, Fel Felicity is the name of uh, the black cat, I guess, uh, but the actress from Rogue One. Uh, maybe her name's Felicity, too. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I, they had her playing... Um, uh, Felicia Hardy, that's it, Felicia Hardy. And uh, and so she was, so Felicity, whatever her name is, was going to play Felicia Hardy as Black Cat, uh, but they never got to do that. And the one thing Sony has been doing, especially with this Venom movie, is they're kind of recycling. Like, you know, they were going to make a Venom spinoff after Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. They were going to do a Spider-Man 4 in a Venom movie and then have the characters go a separate way and then come back for a possible Sinister Six movie. And then when they started Andrew Garfield's movies, they were going to do a trilogy and lead to the Sinister Six and also maybe do something Venom related. And then that went away. So there's been different versions of Venom before until they got to this version. And there's been different versions of Black Cat before until they get to this one. So I don't know. I can't, I know they're doing some casting. I know I saw Atlanta filming saying that they're going to film Silver and Black in Atlanta. And he's debating on whether he, or not he's going to cover that movie or not with photos. If he does or he doesn't, I probably won't cover it on this channel. For those of you who have been asking, um, I'm really just kind of locked into Venom. And we're already going to do a spinoff show about Scarlet Spider, which is purely going to be about the comic book character uh, and, and not really about any other version of him. So um, I already have kind of my hands full. As long as I have a full-time job, I can't do more than too much on here. And I'm already kind of doing too much as it is. So uh, so I got to be careful that I don't sp I split my time evenly with everything I got to work on. Um, so yeah, so uh, that is, I heard the rumors. I'm interested. I'll see what they do with the casting. But I'll probably just post stuff like that on Facebook and Instagram of what I think about it. And you probably won't hear me talk about it too much on this show, uh, for those who are wondering. Um, and then uh, let's see. Let's go up, uh, scroll a little bit more. Uh, Fwa Storm, a great artist, by the way, worked on Soul Star with me. Uh, he mentioned uh, in my Technical Difficulties episode uh, that he's a Red Letter Media fan, too. And uh, and he always has them on in the background. Yeah, I always, I'm watching, right now, I, I could turn the camera. Uh, I'm watching a rich solo stream with no audio on. He's playing the new Friday the 13th. Uh, they just did the Friday the 13th Part 5, Jason, a uh, non-Jason update, and he's playing it right now. So, yeah, I mean, I even have them on all the time. Uh, but for that video, Technical Difficulties, a lot of people have been saying, like, hey, it's cool, you made a mistake, it's no big deal. Um, yeah, I know, I, it wasn't, like, to me, I, I was, 
if you guys don't remember, you didn't see it, episode 56 was originally about me theorizing about Tom Hardy filming in the woods and maybe it being a scene that might be from the end of Planet of the Symbiotes where there's like the, the portal in the woods that leads to Planet of the Symbiotes. And uh, he said that's where he met Woody. I thought he was referring to Woody Harrelson. I completely forgot or didn't know. Uh, uh, I don't remember him seeing this story before, but he had a dog named Woody, and that's where he met the dog, and the dog passed away last year. So I completely misinterpreted that, and out of respect for uh, for Tom, um, as a dog lover myself and a dog owner, I was like, I'm going to take this video down. I didn't do anything wrong in it. I just didn't know. And so for that reason, I took it down. So that will probably be the only video we take down on the series. But And I replaced it with me eating the Scarlet Spider Lego set. Um, so yeah, but Red Letter Media, I'm a huge fan of for sure. Um, and uh, Andrew said, thanks for keeping us in the loop when unexpected technical difficulties arise. And I always will. If I screw something up, I'll always let you guys know. And if I screw something up and I'm not aware of it, you guys let me know for sure. Uh, I am not, uh, I'm not above feedback. I had someone, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to read his comment. He gave me some feedback on a video coming up. So we'll, uh, we'll look at that. Um, a lot of people wishing me well when they found out about my leg. Thank you guys for that very much. Um, Venom Gaming asking for links. Uh, Venom, I, I only link to things that I talk about in my specific video. So if I say, hey, I'm going to make a video on that later, there will be no links to what I'm what that was you know referring to until I make that video. Um, I, I'm very I try to keep my sources you know to the videos that I make them on. So just for a heads up for future reference, because um, uh, you you did ask a lot for a lot of links last week, um, but that's okay. I mean, if I have them, I'll give them to you. But normally I cover them in the video. Uh, Bob White actually said thanks for the heads up on this. Uh, I fell out of Venom in the early 2000s, and this allowed me to get everything I need to catch up before the movie. So this is when I was uh, talking about the sale that uh, they were doing on Comixology, that really great sale, which is back, by the way. Um, Comixology and, uh, and Kindle. I think so far this year, they've done three sales that last like four or five days, and then I just wait like a week, and then the sale's back. Sometimes it's even better than ever. I picked up six more uh, Venom and Carnage trade paperbacks this week on Kindle for like, I think all six of them totaled to like $13.50. Yeah, it was a pretty good pretty good day for me uh, buying buying digital comics. Uh, so if you're out there, keep an eye on that stuff. If you want all these comics for a really cheap price, that's a good way to get them. Um, uh, Venom Gaming actually gave me some a lot of news, but the, but the thing is, so I have notifications. A lot of people don't know this, but I have notifications on my phone um, and Google Alerts and things like that 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 tell me when something Venom related goes up, whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, because I don't have Twitter, so it's an easy way for me to keep track of Twitter. Um, the only thing it doesn't update me on really is IMDb, so that's why I go to IMDb every couple days and hoping that I get some more movie news. Um, and so sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, so you know, I appreciate people going like, hey, did you hear about this? Uh, please keep doing that uh, because there are some times where I didn't hear about it and that has happened a few times. So again, big shout out to Venom Gaming for for being so diligent with that and being like, hey, did you see this? Did you see this? Um, uh, Rudger here called me a lovable YouTuber. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rudger. He says, I have passion for uh, my, just know that we, quote unquote, your fans uh, care about. It. Well, you guys are awesome. I mean, like I said, you guys are pretty much saving my channel, uh, you know, and, and it's not like my channel is going anywhere, but you guys are trying really hard to get me to that thousand subscribers so that way I don't get demonetized. And if I do, you know, at first I thought it was worse than it was. It turns out it's not as bad. If I get demonetized, it's like, okay, that's fine. I'll still make videos and we'll eventually cross a thousand subscribers. Hopefully, uh, hopefully people will enjoy the show and keep liking it um, and we'll keep growing from here because uh, we are Venom, right? So uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'll keep making videos for you guys like regardless uh this is fun it's very therapeutic for me to do this kind of stuff and to connect with people the whole point of me getting on youtube originally was to find people who like the stuff i love and connect with them so i'm, I'm glad work i'm continuing to do that i did that with transformers i did that with other things i've talked about on the show uh and lego stuff like that and right now it's venom and i'm glad because it's nice to meet other venom fans and there have been people who told me like hey i'm a, i wasn't excited for this movie but watching your show i'm excited for the movie now and i'm like hey that's cool like I think we should be excited for the movie, but we should also be cautious. I mean, you know, Sony, I mean, they've, to me, Sony is like hit or miss. Like, uh, uh, they've done one decent Spider-Man franchise and then one not so decent, in my opinion. Uh, the Resident Evil, they've made one okay movie and five, like, really terrible ones. Um, so to me, it's like, it's hit or miss. You know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like 50-50 on them. So, uh, so I, I'm, I'm excited, but I also, I'm prepared just in case. But I think Tom Hardy and the cast they got for this and the crew, it gives me hope. Uh, and I'm really interested to see a Venom story without Spider-Man because 
we don't really need Spider-Man to tell Venom's story, as I've said before in uh, previous episodes. All you need is someone to ruin Eddie Brock's life and for him to have hatred for them. That's all you need. Boom. Character done. Go. Um, you know, Andrew said something here, but it seems pretty personal, so I don't want to read that comment out loud. But he did make it basically saying he's gone through some tough times, too, and uh, and how he worked through them. And I appreciate you opening up to me like that, man. I, I really do. Andrew's a big supporter of this channel, and I really appreciate the comment, man, big time. Uh, he left that on our post-traumatic video where I was talking about Mike Shinoda's EP. Um and also Hillary here. Uh, I was excited when I saw the new songs and glad that you, that someone I knew liked them. But I can't listen to A Place to Start without having to turn it off before the ending, even though I love the way the song ends. It's too hard for me. Really glad you're here and the person you are. Any way that you tell your story and anything that keeps those reminders of why you're going is uh, something I'm here for. Well, that's very. Thank you very much, Hillary. Um, Place to Start is a really great song. If you watched my last episode, 60, episode 60, I put uh, like 30, 15 to 20 seconds of each of the three Mike Shinoda songs in that uh, video, and I did that purposefully. I knew it was going to get flagged for copyright, but I didn't really care. It wasn't for that. It was just like, I want to get that music out there more uh, for people who aren't listening to it. Uh, Mike's music is really great, and those three songs really resonated with me, so that's why I made a video on it. And I'll have more music stuff. I'll probably talk about more music uh, coming up very soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, that song, the end of that song is voicemails from his friends after, uh, Chester passed away. Um, it was friends calling and checking in on him. So it was their voicemails that he put at the end of the song. And it is, it is hard to listen to. I agree. Um, uh, Will Spider 5, uh, our 700 subscriber, he said, looking forward to it. Also, congratulations on 900 subs. Your channel is growing very well. And again, that is thanks to you guys. I am happy to put out videos and do as much as I can, but um, but I uh, I can't, you know, without people watching it, it's, you know, it, it won't grow. And you guys have been watching it and been very dedicated, and I greatly appreciate that. Like, always will be very thankful to you guys for that. So thank you very much. Uh, Sean Sadre says, uh, nice. Also, Carnage showed up in Amazing 794 at the end. Sean, because of your comment is why I hunted down that book and I couldn't find it. And luckily, a friend named Thane who shops at Lego, he came into Lego and talked to me and he actually had that book. I don't think he knew I was looking for it either, just randomly. He was like, hey, I have some comics that I don't want to read anymore. I just bought them. I just you know, take the digital codes and read them digitally. And he, and I just like to give away the free, the, the, the floppy copies. So I was like, I'll take it. It's seven ninety four. I've been looking for this book and I read it because of you. So Sean, thank you very much for that comment. Uh, because in that, I thought that story wasn't happening for another couple uh, issues. And I, it was nice to see that little teaser at the end with Norman Osborn holding the carnage symbiote. That's r really cool. And we may talk about that a little bit on carnage week next week. Um, so Sean, thank you for that. Um, Let's see. Uh, Eddie B says, "Hey man, I love your channel, dude. You know all the stuff, but should uh, but you should practice on talking more about the movie than yourself, because I'm really interested in this film. But I love the show. Keep it up." And so I did. I commented back on Eddie and Eddie and, and I, like again, I'm not against feedback like this. It's 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 something I look at for sure. Um, but for me, this show is about me and Venom, uh, and it's also about Venom the comics. It's about you know things that inspire me that are venom related we're doing a carnage week like it's it's about everything and anything that involves the character and and my connection to the character that's kind of how i present this show but i get the feedback because that episode in particular was talking about them wrapping the film and i probably could have said a few more things about them actually wrapping it than my than i did about myself so you're right i think sometimes the thing is i don't script my shows they're just tangents i just i just start talking i have diarrhea of the mouth uh, so i never know where they're going to end up so that's what happened, and I, I probably should have reshot that and done something more to what you were saying. So I'm not against the feedback, and I think on some level you're right. I, I agree with you. Um, I could have talked. I thought I put up all the images and was kind of hoping that would tell the story of the wrapping of the movie and show all these really great images of people on set and giving each other hugs and you know saying job well done. I, I was kind of hoping that would that message would resonate more, but I guess I could have commented more on the pictures themselves uh, and said a little bit more about the wrapping of the film. So you're right, absolutely, and I will be more cognizant of that in future episodes for sure. Uh, Dano says, you're awesome, Seek. Understandable error, not too big of a deal. Talking about me removing the video. So thank you, Dano, for that. Harmontown uh, fan and friend. Um, Comic Boys, we talked about in a recent episode, uh, they uh, brought up the uh, Matthew Libatique, and I was like, hey, that's great. That's something movie-related we haven't touched on, which is a, a cast member. I always said I would go back and talk about some of the new cast members as they added them. Cinematographer is a very important job in movie making, and Matthew has such a great eye for 
for visuals and worked on some really great movies with Aronofsky and other great filmmakers. So I'm big shout out to Comic Boys for uh, for pointing that out to me in that Instagram post where he where Tom Hardy said it was great working with Maddie Libs and he was talking about Matthew Libatik. And then I checked IMDb and saw that he was on there and it was awesome. So thank you. Uh, Brenda Brooks, uh, she was one of the people that wrote me and told me that Woody was the Tom Hardy's dog and not uh, Woody Harrelson. So she was one of the reasons I took the post down. She was the first person to write me. There were three people that wrote me private messages and told me that. So thank you, all of you. Uh, Brenda was the first one, so big shout out to her for letting me know about that. Uh, Mahed Faraj, he says, uh, I connect with Venom 2. Uh, nice to uh, meet you on here. Yes, one day we will destroy that spoiled sport and expose uh, that Spider-Man for, what does it say? Expose that coward for who he really is. He's a quoting Venom for Spider-Man. Uh, so yes, hashtag we are Venom. Mah uh, Mahed, he also followed me on like Google Plus and Instagram and I think Facebook. So big shout out to you, dude. Thanks for being a subscriber. Uh, Dead Obey says, gimme, give gimme give more. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme more. <laughs> thank you, Dead Obey. And thank you for subscribing. You crossed us over 900 subscribers. Um, someone else did and then we got then we lost someone and then dead obey came in so uh, thank you all for the subscriptions all of you got us to 900 so I appreciate it very much um, and uh, ugly he said I got to set up notifications when you go live he likes watching my live streams so thank you I know those don't get a lot of views but I still like to post them but if you haven't seen me play layers of fear I get I get scared so I posted that video up you guys can watch it um, and then also waffles and bacon says I uh, says does it taste good also when do you think your first teaser of footage will get for venom I'll do that in another video waffles but I do want to give you a shout out because the waffles actually wrote me and said hey man I don't normally do this but will you give me a shout out and I don't think me giving shout outs are really worth anything um, I mean, I, I, I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that, but yeah, Waffles and Bacon. Wafflesandbacon.com. Uh, there's a big shout out for you. I, I like your comments. Every time you comment, I really appreciate them. And uh, and yeah, I, if you think I'm, a, if you like me as a YouTuber, then I don't mind saying thank you and, and giving your, your name a shout out. Um, oh, it looks like the Rich Evans video ended. So uh, that's why my screen went dead for a second there. Um, so thank you, uh, Waffle and Bacon. Big shout out to you, my friend. I appreciate the support. And everyone else who supports me, I think that's, Pretty much it. I got all. I, I I just picked comments randomly, and we're almost at 17 minutes, so I don't want to go too much longer because I don't know how much more my phone can record. Uh, so we're gonna end it there with waffles and bacon and his shout out. Uh, but we'll talk about a lot of you guys asked though, and the other reason I'm gonna skip a lot of these comments is because a lot of you did ask when we think when you think we'll get the trailer. So I figured that would be great. I saw Alex Yu make a video, the guy who kind of inspired me to get on YouTube. Uh, he made a video about that recently with the Bumblebee, because the Bumblebee movie is coming out this summer, and he did a, just did a video today, I think he posted it, about when the trailer might come out. He's thinking the Super Bowl, and I agree with him. I think it's going to be the Super Bowl. Uh, but for me, uh, I have my own opinions of where I think we'll see the Venom trailer, so I will tell that we'll talk about that in the next video, and that way we can all go nuts, speculate, you know, call each other right, wrong, whatever. We'll do that in the next video. But for this one, I just wanted to read a bunch of random comments that you guys leave and just say thank you again. And if we hit a thousand subscribers, uh, especially before February 20th, I'll definitely do something special for you guys. But one way or another, I think what I'm going to do is uh, for a thousand subscribers is uh, I will I wrote Spider-Man a Spider-Man 4 movie with two friends of mine uh, back in 2007 uh, right before I started working at Sony um, and then um, when I was freelancing and then I went and worked at Sony for a while and I was with my friend Ben and James uh, who I worked with on a, a show that Steven Spielberg produced called On the Lot and we met there and we all decided to write a screenplay together for a fourth Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie and I will full up uh, full on I found the script I'll, I'll read you some of the pages from it uh, I'll tell you the basic idea from it uh, I have my my uh, certificate from the uh, the uh, Writers Guild right here it has some personal information on it so I don't want to show off my uh, some of the personal information uh, but yeah so I have um, I'll just put my hand over it I guess so yeah that's from the certificate uh, that's from the um, the document of registration from the Writers Guild of America Spider-Man 4 fearful symmetry the screenplay um, so yeah I will we'll share all about that uh, if you can guess the title you probably know which villain is in it but there are a couple villains in our movie and I'll go over it if we hit a thousand subscribers I'll tell you all about it the process of writing it um, and everything that happened after uh, we wrote it. So thank you guys so much. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Thanks for 900 subs. Peace.